No. Robinson is down to come in three. Followed by Kevin Sharp, Jim Love, Bursto, all useful players, and uh, Carrick, very useful middle order batsman. Side bottom, good player. Stevenson can hit it hard, so there's a lot of batting to come from Yorkshire. And uh, they might well need it, mind you. Still got to make 255 off just 47 overs. And it's touching five and a half runs and over now. Wallace again from the Kirkson Lane end. That's going to be four. That's beat Robin Dyer at square leg and he's no chance. That ball goes quicker and quicker the more you hardly you chase it. Yeah, it's a good shot, this didn't hit it hard, the issue was the pace of the ball, just turn the wrist, push it away to square leg, and the pace of the outfield does the rest. first bounce. Yeah, this is a fine shot. Uh, probably Boycott's strongest out here, just off the back foot in front of Square. And he got that time, that beautiful lane, it flashed away for four. Yeah, still looking for a second here. Certainly uh, brought the crowd alive again. Just outfield. Smith doing well to uh, pull it up there. I think that, in fact, might just be about the first three of the match. And that's a neat deflection down the gluts and small. And they're still bowling them out. prevent the second. And they've whittled it down a little, it's 5.3 now. Started at just a shade over 5, went up to 5.5. Over oh, there, this is uh, Kevin Sharp. A bit wide, didn't get his foot quite to it, but it really went through with the shot and it went about a yard high like a bullet just in front of square on the offside. Square 
Moxon's gone to 43, 22 to Sharp. 187 to win now, and that run rate has dropped appreciably just because of that one over. It's down now to five and a half. Yorkshire Chase has really started. Two very good overs. Well, this is the Yorkshire's attempt to break up this, this infield, and I would have thought that um, Willis will have to do something in a few minutes. That was another very good shot this time by Sharp. But still, Willis is persisting with his policy of six on the square and making them... So that was uh, 11 for one. Steve Oldham. I think he was looking for it up to mid-wicket and uh, it wasn't quite the right place. <coughs> yes, it wasn't really a misfeel. It only bobbed about six inches out of his hand. And Charlie took him on and uh, I suppose it was a bit unlucky. It was a, a beautiful throw right over the top of the stumps. And uh, you get to the stage in one-day cricket where you do chance your arm a little bit on that. I don't think you'd have chance it in a three-day match. It's all in the same pickup. It wasn't hardly a misfeel. Right. So, Alvin was out for 85, the Warwickshire score was 172 for 3. Yeah, well, Dennis got nowhere there, he's got Alvin moved forward, he was going to come forward and he really stopped off about 4 inches and uh, really, I think that was a fairly good decision. He yeah, has a very nice score from Jeff Boycott. Yes, yeah, so I just timed that, he didn't really hit it and he just flicked it, used the pace of the ball and from the square. And, uh, gets a bit That was a good shot because apparently it did swing out quite a bit. He yeah. dispatched those two absolutely beautifully and uh, nobody could have played those yeah. any better. <clears throat> yeah. Again, that beautiful time and that whistle to the right side boundary. And Love has caught Willis Bowl for uh, 16. Now, now that's the first happy thing that's happened to Anton Ferreira out in the field today. He's had a, a run of bad luck. And you see Jim there having another go and he, he tried to open the face a bit too much. Should have been better to it a little bit straighter. That's did really well to hang on to that, did Bob, because there was really stumbling there in the last yeah. That's from Small is uh, down at deep fine leg and that's the short side here at Headingley. The pitch is way over on one side. Yes again and Kevin Sharp showing how strong he is in that area. He just angles the bat a little bit and it goes away behind square through the gully area and Paul Smith there, no distance at all to go but he didn't get near it. He'll get too comfortably. Good running from Robinson and Sharp. And eight from that over from Bob Willis. That's the rate Yorkshire must keep up. This really is the player I thought we might have seen at the fall of the last wicket because um, Yorkshire's captain, David Bairstow, has played some famous innings in these circumstances and uh, we're getting to a run right now of over seven where the, the real big hitters should be at the wicket. Here we see Robinson again, pushing, just angling that bat. It was a useful delivery because it... it, uh, it did Well, it's a good shot. Give it to them there, that it's all come good at the right moment. Oh, Kevin Sharp tried to run that ball. He was in no sort of position at all in the end. You see where his feet are. It didn't get up all that, that much, but it wasn't so much that that undid him as where he was trying to put it. And um, as Richie said, Anton Pereira, suddenly the, the pendulum swung. He's a very intense cricketer. He takes his cricket very, very seriously. And over the last couple of years, playing at home in... South Africa and, and over here he's turned himself into a very very useful bits and pieces cricketer. And that's a fine innings by Kevin Sharp and it's uh, really he that has kept Yorkshire in the game. Fine enough. Here we see it again from another angle and uh, 
He's played all the way around it, supporting two of the quintetta bowlers, and they came back at a time when Kevin Sharp was threatening to take the game right away from Willis. And uh, those two or three quick wickets now have left, really, Yorkshire's main two hopes in David Bairstow and, and Graham Stevenson together. And uh, Stevenson, of all people, I think he's still capable of uh, rescuing the game, but uh, they're slipping a little bit down the hill, Jim. I'm sure we're leaving this much shortly, but uh, if we're back, I no don't see the finish. Just after the news, around about uh, 7.30. Victor spot on there. That's how they are placed on the offside. And wide again. bonuses for Yorkshire. Well, it's not happy, but uh, he's bowled a, a no ball or two also today. place just uh, delayed the shot fractionally put it away square on the offside shot is played particularly well in his uh, briefing is here today well this is crucial over for Yorkshire and they're glad to fight old hullabaloo around the ground now that's the small they're missing one that uh, Short it off, and then Robin Dyer down in that on the deep square leg boundary. Good sight of it, he set himself for it and couldn't hold. So the option of uh, wheeled it down to a little under eight now, 7.8. Five overs to go, 39 wanted. And uh, no doubt Bob Willis will be. Very tight finish when they met in the zonal match. Warwickshire just overcoming Yorkshire by seven runs. And it uh, looks like another tight finish. And now, uh, it's square again now. So, 50 partnership coming up and uh, just 38 balls. And there's quite a bit of money at stake, of course, in this uh, B&H Cup. 14,000 go to the winners of the final. The losing semi-finalists today get only 3,750. Face now. No uh, leg by signal there. Must have just shoveled it round the corner. If it hits, it's close. The best uh, will put Warwick in this morning. The best uh, is on the 30 now. Change of pace there. Intelligent delivery to win the answer. Got him that off. A magnificent shot there, off his toes. Through mid wicket. And at one time Graham Stevenson used to hit everything on the upside, but he can hit on the onside now, and this has made him a very dangerous player indeed. 
And he's uh, overhauled his captain. He's tucked away nicely off his legs, but knows there's only one. In fact, these two were together when they won that uh, famous night match in Sydney under the club lights. Steve and Louis came running off the field away. I think then the Aussies didn't know Graham Stevenson, he had quite a few over extra cover. <laughs> the uh, applause for the 250. 27 wanted, three and a half overs to go. problem you've got at heading makes a big boundary up there and if the field goes right out on the edge and you only push the ball steady to him then there's always a two runs and it's a matter of can you rip the little bat onto it well it's again to best though he's picked the spot this time that's what they want that's four runs through mid wicket Well, David looks quite pleased. Put him uh, nearer to a runner ball. Precious. That's what they uh, needed. Satisfy their own crew. There's uh, one or two pacing up and down out there. One or two probably not looking either. says he's caught it, David Bairstow wasn't sure but it's a magnificent catch and the most excited man here is, uh, is young Paul Smith so what a climax Bairstow goes for 39 and that was a, a really good catch yeah this was a magnificent shot to get out in fact he gave it a square slash and it went flat which 
I think Arnie's obviously going to just block and run and leave it to Steve at the other end now. But uh, it's very difficult for a new batsman to come in at this stage. Yes, well, I think Warwickshire might uh, feel uh, that uh, there's a little bit of justice. Both he and Stevens will drop during the course of one over. So two uh, tremendous games between these two sides. Only seven runs, the difference in the zonal match which is going to be uh, equally close. Small to Stevenson. And he's gone to, well, there it is, Justice, I think, for Gladstone Small. He had both these batsmen dropped in the space of one over, now he's picked them up in the space. And uh, that's the uh, in, in, Graham Stevenson. Yeah. Courageous innings. From the auctionman. So cometh the hour, cometh the man. And unlike Wilfred Grills, you can't get them in singles at this stage. So it's more difficult now, isn't it? 13 wanted off just eight balls. Three wickets remaining. Some small has turned this match again within the space of two or three balls. Okay, uh, quick to see the single, and my word, that's good running. Brilliant piece of running there. Years ago, four inside that circle the whole time. Hold him to face. Willis to bowl. It's a noble effort by Steve Oldham. As I say, six or bust. One ball to go. It's hardly likely to run five on this ground. I rather think this might be uh, a ball of pretty full length. ball of the day. Well, it's two of them. He's a people pro BW. Nobody's very interested. They've all gone. So, still the five runs short. So, it really means that uh, Warwick should have scrambled through by a narrow margin of four runs. To 72 for eight on the board. through the day's activities here. Warwickshire put into bat this morning by Bairstow. Side bottom taking an early wicket. Dyer playing well for his uh, 54. Alvin Kelly Chirana sparkling in his area of 85. Amos also in good form for a 44 and Humpage laid about it towards the end. So Yorkshire needing to score it. to go on this final over. Carrick to face. A good delivery too. He's actually going to win. Not a fine delivery at this stage. Well, whatever the result today to watch cricket. Wanted five balls left. See the sun still glinting down. Side bottom to face balls. And he's given him out LBW. He took a face down the wicket, but uh, up went the umpire's finger. 
his side bottom dies in a desperate effort to clear the inner fielders. Yeah, that looked fairly straight, and it across it, but no option at this stage. And uh, what a pressure over this is for Bob Willis, and so far how well he's bowled it. Willis to hold them. They miss flopping on it. It's just a sharp up the old knee. Snicks past the wicketkeeper really is uh, what they're looking for. Can Phil Carrick work a wonder here? Well, that's what it needs now. Two boundaries, only two balls left. Seven wanted. In the old days, of course, I think the whole team would have been back on the boundary, but since the uh, new rule came into being three or four years ago, four inside that circle the whole time. Hold them to face. Willis to bowl. Years ago, four inside that circle the whole time. Oldham to face, Willis to bowl. That's a noble effort by Steve Oldham. As I say, six or bust. One ball to go. It's hardly likely they run five on this ground. I rather think this might be uh, a ball of pretty full length. So the last ball of the day. Well, it's two of them. People for LBW, nobody's very interested. They've all gone. So still the five runs short. So it really means that uh, Warwick should have scrambled through by a narrow margin of four runs. To 72 for eight on the board. through the day's activities here. Warwickshire put into bat this morning by Bairstow. Side bottom taking an early wicket. Dyer playing well for his uh, 54. Alvin Kelly Chirana sparkling in his air of 85. Amos also in good form for a 44 and Humpage laid about it towards the end. So Yorkshire needing to score at